Oh, hey guys. Wow, wasn't expecting you to drop by. Welcome to the Run Ground studio space um, here in Hollywood. We've been spending our lovely evenings, days, and nights uh, renovating this space. And here it is. You can kind of get a little bit of a glance, maybe a 360 view, and I'll give you kind of the tour of the place. First, we got to uh, we got to turn the lights on. Let there be light. As we come in, uh, we take it to the right here. You'll see it used to be sort of like a garage shed that's been drywalled and renovated into a workspace, a studio space. You come in the door and you have your seating area here. This is kind of where we take a a chill and listen to some of the mixes we might be working on. Obviously you have Maggie here um, who is yeah, just enjoying enjoying a lovely um, Monday afternoon. Or wait, what day is it? I don't know what day it is. Us internet video people don't know what day it is ever. Um, you have a TV up here for when you get bored of editing vocals or whatever's going on. You can just kind of kick back, look up there, figure out what's going on. We have our lovely YouTube play button, which they so graciously awarded um, Team Run Aground for crossing the 100,000 subscriber mark, which is really cool. Really, really neat. So, live the life you've imagined, guys, because it's all about just your dreams and hoping. But anyway, I do love little sayings like this. And we have cool little quotes up here that says, more gold has been mined from the thoughts of men than ever taken from the earth. I think that's like an Albert Einstein quote, or someone even smarter. Is there anyone smarter than that? I don't know. Anyway, so we come back here. You have kind of what we built as our video studio um, setup, and we have Canon T3i camera and our Tamron lens here that we use for a lot of different things. We've got our LED lights. Uh, our stools here, some sweet rag swag that I think we gave away in our last video, which you should go check out if you haven't seen it, in other news. We just built this. This is a really, this is an exciting project that we were working on for a while, where we had seen like a video or a picture of, of, of a stage that had a similar like pallet wood backdrop to it. And I was like, oh, I wonder if we could do that. So we went to the lumber yard down in Hollywood and bought some plywood and then found about four different pallets. And I just got out of the hammer and just went nuts ripping them apart and then we built this wall and we've used we're going to be using this as our as our backdrop um, for some shows and music videos and all those cool things so then we move over here just a little bit further we've got the midi drum kit that i love because i actually if you don't know this started out as a drummer when i was younger about 12 13 actually trumpet was my first instrument so this is the roland tdk drum kit that i midi control a lot of um, the drum sounds that you hear like on Where Do I Begin or other songs, songs that are coming out on my new album, which I'm stoked about and I want to share more with you about in a minute. But yeah, so I, I control, control, MIDI control uh, the sounds through um, a sampler um, in Logic called Superior Drummer, which is actually like real acoustic samples of drums. And so I can play kind of the acoustic feel and have all the digital upside of, of editing and that, and that sort of thing. So then we move over to the left just a little bit and we have the pride and joy of the of the studio, the brand new vocal booth that has just come fully to completion. And we'll turn on our lights and you guys come on, step on inside with me. Um, and you'll see basically where I spend a lot of my time singing some of the songs that you guys love listening to. Um, and the cool thing about this booth is that obviously once you close the door, you know, it separates us from the sound on the outside, which is awesome. You know, as you're when you're recording vocals, you want to be able to block out the sound from the outside. So we were able to do that, and then I can come in here and be singing, you know, whatever song that I'm working on, and I can edit the vocals as I'm going, which I love. The fact that I can have my two Bluetooth keyboards hooked up to my computer out there, and I'm singing into my Manly microphone, which is, oh, it is to die for. This is the same mic, if you can see it here, the Manly Reference series microphone that I believe Katy Perry used on her newest records, and so many other, like, amazing artists that I aspire to their greatness with. So anyway, yeah, so that's the mic that we love. And um, this is the vocal booth. We've got our headphones here, the Audio-Technica headphones, a lovely carpet on my bare feet. This is, this is studio bare feet action, guys, right here, okay? That's what it's about. Now you know what a day in the vocal booth is really like. And then we step outside of there and come over here to the studio console. As you can see, Maggie is very upset about that. This is where I kind of take control of everything that's going on in the studio as far as editing or working on songs or music. And basically I'll give you a little bit of a, a tour of the channel strip. As you saw in there, we have the Manly Reference microphone and that mic goes into um, the Universal Audio 610 vocal preamplifier. Goes from there into the Distressor, which is here, which I love. This is a great compressor for vocals as well. 
Um, so that's my outboard um, vocal compression. And then I go into, simply enough, the Apogee Duet interface. So for the last year or two, that's been a great interface for me. And it has, um, if you're in the audio world, it has what we call a great analog to digital crossover for a pretty affordable price. So I love the Apogee Duet. And then um, the pride and joy, again, are the Focal Twin 6VE monitors. I uh, love the way these things sound, and I can't wait if you guys get to come hang out with me here in the studio sometime, which there's actually a way we're going to be working on that to happen um, for some of you guys maybe. We have the desk, the studio control console here. This is the monitor station where I can have a talkback microphone into the vocal booth and I can talk with vocalists, whoever might be in there recording or if someone's engineering for me, um, I can hear what they're saying like, hey man, that sucked, you know, do it again. That's a little joke we like to say in the biz. Anyway, so yeah, so I've got dual monitors and, and then the coolest part of this whole console here is that if I get really tired, like I found myself doing a lot, I can stand up, so the desk actually rises with me, and then I can kick the chair back. I can stand up and work, so I can keep engineering and working throughout the night, so that you beautiful people can hear the music that you love. We got a little cloud hanging here, our Nikola Tesla picture, because he invented the 21st century. Google him, cool dude. Some of our sound paneling. The MIDI controller keyboard that I use, um, it's an Impulse 49 key controller. Um, it's made by Novation, really cool company. Love the action on the keys. Um, and it's great as well. We've got our KRK sub down here. We've got a nice jib over here just in case at any moment I want to do a sweeping moving angle of myself producing something. Got a little goal board here. Take a good look, people, because this is where the magic happens. I'm so glad you come in and, and hang out with me. I want to thank Watch Dogs Digital Shadow uh, for sending me a link to their new game. It's this really cool new technological thrill seeking action game that you guys can check out. So click the link below and go to the Watchdog website and you should log in on your Facebook and check out this new interface that they've created. It's really cool, I just, I'm actually doing it right now. Let's see, log in. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, it's kind of scary. No, I'm just kidding, it's actually really cool. But I'm logging in and it's showing me like my, my digital imprint that, I, that, I, that I'm leaving like little traces of, of my identity everywhere I go on uh, kind of like in the world. So I guess they have this new, this new video game that's built off of this idea that everyone's kind of going around and we're all connected to each other through social media and, and what if we all were able to like change other people's lives in this video game in that way. So when you click the link, it shows you like how you're connected to all the, all the friends that you have on your Facebook. Um, I'm seeing here, okay, so it's telling me like, we know who you care about. We know who you are. It so apparently knows like what, what my value is, which is crazy. There's like this pawns. You exhibit low risk of exposure to these people. So you don't want to be that person in my life. But it looks like my liabilities are secondly my wife. So I'll have to kill her. Oh, these people here are obsessed with me. Very interesting. Okay. I thought you didn't even like me. They're obsessed with me. And then I have, oh, my friend Katie is a scapegoat. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, cool. It's just really cool. Like profile that, that shows you kind of how you're connected with all your friends and which ones are sort of stalking you and some of the posts that have your, the most engagement for you on Facebook and it ties into this really neat game and I just watched the trailer for the video game and it's freaking mind-blowing. Graphics are amazing and it takes place in Chicago. It's gonna be really cool. I'm definitely probably gonna buy that and play it till my fingers bleed. It looks really cool. So thanks to you guys at Watch Dogs Digital Shadow for sending me that link and you guys should definitely check it out. Click the link below and uh, go have some fun with it. See you guys.